again and welcome to airgunweb.com. My name is Rick Utzler and I'm glad you can join us again today. This is the Benjamin Trail NP XL rifle and it's supposed to be extremely powerful and extremely accurate. Let's take a close look at this rifle. As we take a look at this rifle, you can see that they spent a good bit of time on this stock. The rich detailing and the nice lines uh, make for a very, very uh, appealing rifle. They've also done some real work to that receiver by removing the 11 millimeter dovetail and replacing it with a weaver mount. The quality of the materials is better than I expected. Um, they fit tightly together and they sure do look uh, very, very good on this rifle. That barrel is fully shrouded and I bet you they've got some baffling going on in there because the rifle is extremely quiet. One of the most important parts in a brake barrel is how the barrel actually joins back to the receiver. Benjamin's done a good job machining it to very decent tolerances so that the gun um, closes properly every time. The stock is an ambidextrous stock as we're going to see here shortly. There's another look at that barrel. It's a nice bull barrel and it is definitely rigid. As you can see here the stock has a raised cheek piece on both the left and right sides and it's uh, equally easy to use whether you're righty or a lefty. Here's a close-up of that new receiver with the weaver style rings. Boy that makes a big difference when you um, are trying to deal with scope slippage. Um, that scope is rock solid on this gun. Here's our final look at the barrel. Benjamin has bundled a very practical center point 3 to 9 by 40 AO adjustable scope. This is really a great scope for this rifle as it gives you just the right amount of zoom um, as well as having the mil dot range estimating crosshairs, fine click adjustments, and of course the adjustable objective which lets you get a clear picture no matter what your range. If you've ever been uh, out hunting for an entire day carrying around one of these big magnum springers, one of the things you are really wishing for is a rifle sling. Well, Benjamin certainly thought of that and has not only included the sling, but included a very easy way to attach it. It's really nice to see that somebody has finally tackled this problem as far as mounting a sling to a brake barrel rifle securely. Um, I had no problems carrying this gun. It made it very, very nice. Here's a look at the new trigger that Benjamin is putting on their rifles. Uh, I'm not a fan of this trigger. We'll get to that later. Uh, this needs a lot of work. The internals need uh, serious polishing to be really smooth and usable. In 22 cal, this rifle shot the hobbies. The high was 958, the low was 948, the average was 952 with a difference of only 10 feet per second. That's extremely consistent velocity out of a gas ram gun. When we move up to say something like the Crossman Premier Hollow Point, we definitely increase weight. As I said, the hobbies are 11.9, the Crossman Premier Hollow Points are 14.3. These are the kind of velocities we got from that pellet. We had a high of 904 feet per second, a low of 897 feet per second, an average of 901 feet per second, with a difference of only 7 feet per second. Again, extremely consistent. Moving on to our most accurate pellet happened to be the JSB Match Exact Jumbo Heavies. We had a high of 799 feet per second, a low of 790 feet per second, an average of 793 feet per second, with a difference of only 9 feet per second. The last pellets I took a look at happens to be the JSB Predator pellets. We had a high of 809 feet per second, a low of 794 feet per second, an average of 800 feet per second, with a difference of 15 feet per second. This gun definitely produces consistent results.
what's my final take on the Benjamin uh, Trail NPXL? Well, initially I had mixed feelings about this rifle. At first I had a terrible time trying to get it to group. And then I realized that the lighter pellets that were traveling at 900 or 900 plus feet per second just were not able to maintain any sort of stability. When I realized what the problem was, I started experimenting with slightly heavier pellets. And I just worked my way up until I found something that worked really well. Both the JSB Exact Match uh, Jumbo Heavies and the JSB Polymags worked very, very well in this gun. Now, I was able to get some decent groups uh, on occasion with, say, the Crossman Hollow Point Premieres or even just the Crossman Premieres in the cardboard box, but they did not deliver the consistent type groups that I was getting from the JSBs. From what I understand, this gun is their flagship brake barrel rifle. It is the top of the line, the best of the best that they're going to produce as far as a brake barrel gun goes. But they're using the same trigger in this gun as they're using in their $130 Remington Vantage. As far as I'm concerned, that is very, very short-sighted. There's really no excuse for Crossman not developing a better trigger for these rifles. This trigger had so many stops and catches and glitches and I don't know how else to describe it but as you pull through that second stage there are several little hitches um, along the way and I sort of teased my crossman rep about them creating a 16 stage trigger because as you pull through that second stage um, it certainly feels like that in this rifle. With enough practice and with enough shooting that trigger will probably smooth out but it's something that should have been corrected right from the factory. With all that said, however, if I were going to spend some money on, an, on a Magnum maximum power gas ram driven Springer, this rifle is going to be on my short list. It did take me a little time to get used to it, but now that I understand its secrets and I'm able to hit the, the 10 ring when I want to, I'm very, very happy with it. Because it's so quiet and so powerful, it's a great gun in just about any environment. As always, I'd really like to thank the guys over at Pyramid Air for providing this rifle and all the supplies for this review. The next time you need your next rifle or your next batch of supplies, be sure to look them up over at www.pyramidair.com. I know I keep mentioning it and I'm going to keep mentioning it, but when you buy your rifle, make sure to select the 10 for 10 option. Their technicians will do a visual inspection and send 10 rounds downrange through a chronograph to make sure it's operating properly before it goes on the truck and shipped to your house. My name is Rick Utzer with airgunweb.com. Until next time, please shoot safe and have a whole lot of fun.